Hey, what's going on everybody? Dave back again and I'm actually going to knock out a couple of figure videos. Um, I haven't done those in a while. Uh, I have a few people that enjoy them and uh, you know it's part of my thing. It's something I don't have to build and do. Um, so first up is one of my new acquisitions. Um, I'm really happy to have gotten it. Um, I'm, I don't know a whole lot about uh, the series um, other than you know they're by Ashley Wood they're made by 3A and they're pretty freaking badass um, this is Nage <coughs> and uh, as far as I know or from what I've heard it was a uh, exclusive um, I don't know how um, how rare they are or anything and I'm not really concerned with uh, rarity but this is from the Tomorrow King series. Um, you can see the box art and everything over there. There's actually a poster in there. And what I really dig about them is the um, the stylized uh, heads. They're um, very, you know, anime-ish. Um, the weathering on them is just freaking phenomenal. Um, let me see here if I can get to zoom in on something without moving the camera um, the gloves uh, the weathering all the way around if you guys can see it um, packs got turned but you can see the weathering that's on there on the bag and there he goes um, they are very sturdy they're actually uh, generally more sturdy than um, hot toys from what I have found this one's a little fidgety and the reason being is uh, instead of having um, like hard shoes where's that chain I can't see it I can't see it oh it's under the plate yeah I'll just put that there for now um, Instead of having uh, hard shoes on this guy, he's at, they're actually uh, cloth um, and actually have shoelaces. So that is really cool when these guys fill off. Um, you'll notice the details on here. There is actually a metal pin that is in there. Um, but the feet are loose in here and I think I'm going to stuff some newspaper or something in there to make them... Um, more stable in those shoes. The the shoes just make him kind of wonky. Had him fine earlier, and then I bumped him. Stay, stay. It's not the pose I want him in, but that'll work for now. Um, so he does come with two swords, as you can see here. He comes with these um, sickles that ha um, both of them have chains. He comes with a buttload of these uh, little grenade canisters. Um, he comes with the backpack that you saw when I uh, spun him around. There are actually zippers on um, the, the front pockets, the side pockets, and uh, they do end up working. Um, there is a zipper over here. I don't think there are actual pockets on those though. Uh, I think it just goes through to the um, to the skin. Um, hooded sweatshirt, very weathered. Um, it's my understanding with this series that they are basically robot hunters um, or assassins. So you know, all these guys do is go around and kill robots. Uh, so very battle worn. Um, and I believe they are all clones, uh, which is why the face is uh, pretty much all the same, just different hairstyles. Um, they do have shirts designed by Ashley Woods, um, which are pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I really like them. If you get a chance, um, you know, and you can get them at a good deal, go ahead and, um, you know, pick one up. Or, you know, if you're at a shop, take a look at one. You never know do expect though when you open up the package it's going to smell and it's going to smell like um, uh, well one of them I opened up smelled like turpentine 
Uh, another one that opened up smelled like gasoline. Uh, so, and I think that has to do with what they use for uh, the weathering on the cloth and everything. Um, the clothes are very well tailored. The zips actually work. Um, I like how, like on his the sweater, it actually grabs the arm, so you can see the arm detail. So this is one of three. Um, stick around. I have uh, two more coming up, and I will talk to you in the next video.